Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Rediscovering History. Today's episode, we will be learning about inventor Marion Croak. Now, Marion Croak grew up in New York City and went on to attend Princeton University. And from there, she graduated and got her degree and went on to complete her doctoral studies at Southern California University in 1982. She got her degree in social psychology and quantitative analysis. After graduating, Croak joined AT&T at Bell's Labs, where she developed a technology that made it possible to communicate through audio and video over the internet. Croak recommended that the company switch from wired phone technology to internet protocol, which turned out to be a good recommendation. Mrs. Croak has over 200 patents, including over 100 having to do with voice over IP. Now, voice over IP basically allows you to make voice calls using a broadband internet connection. So, if you ever talk long distance on Skype to connect with coworkers or family members or whoever, this product was made possible by Miss Marianne Croak. Now, keep in mind, prior to this coming out, the alternative for talking over the phone was to use a regular phone. Now, not to say that there's anything wrong with regular phones, or rather phones that they did use prior to there being voice over IP as a main source of communication. However, this, as opposed to a regular phone line, which back then would have been analog. So when you think of analog, think of landline phones. And not to say that there's anything wrong with landline phones, but look how far we have come. So Croak launched the use of phone network services to make it easier for the public to donate to crisis appeals. One of her biggest milestones was that AT&T partnered with American Idol to use text messages as a voting system. About one fourth of viewers learned how to text to take part in the show. Croak filed a patent for text-based donations to charity in 2005, which completely changed the system, changing how people can donate money to charitable organizations. Sources say after the 2010 Haiti earthquake, at least $22 million was pledged using this system. Now, Croaks was inducted into the Women in Technologies Hall of Fame in 2013. She was also elected as vice chair of ATIS, a technology development organization. She would go on to be honored for outstanding technical contribution industry at the 28th Annual Black Engineer of the Year Awards, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics Conference in Washington, D.C. in 2014. Additionally, she was listed in the most influential women in wireless list by Fierce Wireless. She was further honored at Culture Shifting, a weekend of innovation within the same year. She left AT&T to join Google where she accepted the role of Vice President for Engineering, where she oversees reliability engineering for YouTube. Since YouTube is a subsidiary of Google, she also managed the team that developed the initial communications technology for Project Loon, which uses balloons to extend coverage. Hmm, imagine that. She also spearheaded the deployment of Wi-Fi across India's railway system dealing with extreme weather and high population density since 2017 she's taken on more responsibility for reliability engineering for many other google services she is also a proud mother of three two sons and one daughter in terms of inventions she is best known for developing voice over ip 